It's very easy for anyone to say I'm a conservative um, or that I'm a Labour because they're the major parties, they're the parties that's always been in government. I think for anyone to say that I'm a Liberal Democrat demonstrates clearly a fundamental belief. I vote Liberal Democrat. 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 And I'm proud of that. One of the great delights of this party, and one that's always distinguished us from Labour and the Conservatives, is the vast variety of our supporters. Old, young, rich, not so rich. Workers, bosses, northerners, southerners, easterners, westerners. We've got some of all of them. Not a class-based party, not a single-issue party, not a regional party. And that's terrific. But this very variety sometimes puzzles people. They can't pin us down as they can with the other parties. They say they're not sure what we stand for. But if they listened carefully, they would. Because at the heart of every Liberal Democrat supporter, whatever their own concerns and ambitions may be, lies the same single unifying belief. The single unifying belief from which all our key defining policies naturally flow. This is about the economy. About democracy. About your future. This is about absolutely everything. Education doesn't just live in a box called education. Education policy, good or bad, affects us all, all the time, all our lives. Of all this government's failures, its failure on education is the least forgivable. It lurks at the heart of every problem we face. A country may get everything right except for education, and so get nothing right. It really is that important. I want to be a firefighter. I'm going to be a football player. I'm going to be a teacher. I'm going to be a train driver. I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to be the Prime Minister. I'm going to be a nurse. I'm going to be a... I'm going to be a vet. I'm going to be a farmer. I'm Don Foster, education spokesman for the Liberal Democrats. These children may be the lucky ones. I hope they are, but some won't be. At a time when our children need more and better teachers, smaller classes, a wider choice of books and more computers, this is what their government does to them. This year, from now on, £50 less for every child in primary school, £200 less for every child in secondary school. That's £6,000 less for a class of 30 and £120,000 less for a school of 600. And to save that, you'd need to sack five teachers. We all have just one life, no second chances. To get ready for that life, there's just one early, unrepeatable opportunity. It lasts 10 years, perhaps 15, and then it's gone. These are not just young lives lost. Their talents and their energies remain unused, and the society that failed them now blames them. It doesn't have to be like this. It can't be quick, and it won't be cheap, but it can be done. Let's start by recognizing the truth. These are this country's greatest natural resource. We must let in light and hope and knowledge. We must encourage and reward. We must allow each individual human engine to develop its own strengths in its own ways. Preschool, at school, after school, and throughout a fulfilled and valued life for their good and the good of us all.
Surely, every decent instinct we have says this. Let each child be encouraged to learn, to flower, to enjoy self-sufficiency and self-respect, to take up rights and to take on responsibilities, to become a somebody. And certainly, every cold-blooded economic calculation says this. Only if that happens can this nation survive in a competitive world. Within 20 years, those children there, those still at school today, will be the productive resource on which this country's prosperity will be utterly dependent. Education is everything. For Liberal Democrats, it is the soul and the centre of our policies. For this government, it's a source of short-term savings. They believe you won't mind starving education to death as long as you've got some promise of distant tax cuts to look forward to. It's all so simple that it can't be said often enough. Governments have an absolute obligation to give every one of their citizens the opportunity to learn, to develop, and to contribute. To fail in this is to condemn millions of individuals to barren, wasted lives. To fail in this is to sink the country under the heavy weight of the underskilled and the underemployed. To fail in this is to fail to prepare Britain for the real world. Everything starts with the encouragement and the development of the individual. And that is why every single Liberal Democrat policy starts with the encouragement and the development of the individual. And as more and more people come to understand that, so more and more people, in all their wonderful variety, will come to support us. And then we really will be able to make things happen. I personally will never vote anything else but Liberal Democrats. They work hard for local people all year round. They seem to care very much about people and about communities. The Liberal Democrats give me a chance to have my say. I believe it is the fairest party. Only the Liberal Democrats carry democracy through. I vote Liberal Democrat because they don't take my vote for granted. They are really for people. It sounds hackneyed sometimes, but people are what life is about. Uh, and the Liberal Democrats say that to me. I vote Liberal Democrat because I, I trust them to run the country and to listen to people and to do what's right and to take the hard decisions. I vote Liberal Democrat. Conscience wouldn't allow me to vote for anybody else. If you'd like more information, you can contact the Liberal Democrats by writing to 4 Cowley Street, London SW1P 3NB, or ring 0171 222 7999.